Here are the 12 universal laws. You shouldn't let this video slip away as these laws can and will change your life for the better once you know and understand them. Number one, the law of divine oneness. By the end of this, you'll feel a profound connection with everything around you. This is rooted in a cosmic principle known as the law of divine oneness. According to ancient wisdom and modern science alike, everything in the universe is interconnected. Picture a web. If one strand is touched, the entire web shivers. So it is with our lives. Our actions impact not only us, but ripple out to the world at large. Many falsely believe we exist in isolation, but this is a grand illusion. The truth is, we are part of a much greater, intricately woven tapestry of existence. At the heart of the law of divine oneness lies unity consciousness. It's not about being alone, it's about being all one. So, how do you align with this law? Stop separating, start integrating. See yourself not as an island, but as an integral part of the cosmic web. Embrace this unity and watch as your life becomes richer, more compassionate, and deeply interconnected. Number two, the law of vibration. In the next few moments, you'll comprehend a universal law that can unlock your immense potential. Albert Einstein famously said, everything in life is vibration. What does that mean? Consider this, the more you resonate positivity, the more positivity reverberates back. It's like tuning into a radio frequency. Tune into the frequency of negativity and you'll get static and discord. Contrary to popular belief, this law isn't about ignoring problems or faking positivity. It's about genuine attunement. The nucleus of the law of vibration is authentic resonance. Your true vibration doesn't stem from the superficial, it emanates from within. So here's your key to unlock potential. Stop pretending, start resonating. Truly resonate with your authentic self and watch the universe echo back your greatness. Number three, the law of action. Understanding and applying this law can get you out of that destructive loop of waiting for the right time. Remember Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Often, we mistakenly believe waiting for inspiration is the key to success, but that's not the case. In reality, it's action that breeds inspiration, not the other way around. Picture this. You're a writer, staring at a blank page. The more you wait for inspiration, the longer the page stays empty. But once you start writing, inspiration begins to flow. People believe the law is about massive action, but it's really about consistent action. Success doesn't come from sporadic big moves, but regular small steps. So here's the secret to harnessing the law of action. Start small, act now. Trust in your ability to take action, leading to remarkable achievements. Number four, the law of correspondence. By watching this, you'll discover how to transform your inner world, and thus your outer reality. The principle comes from an ancient aphorism accredited to the mystical writings of Hermes Trismegistus. As above, so below. Ever thought why some days you're on a roll, everything aligns while others everything seems to fall apart? That's the law of correspondence at work. It essentially states that our outer world is a mirror of our inner world. Don't be misled thinking it's all about wishful thinking. It's more profound. It's about mindset, attitudes, and beliefs. If your mind is stuck in negativity, your reality reflects it. The key to leverage this law, awareness and transformation. Be aware of your inner states, Transform negativity into positivity. Stop wishing, start transforming. Adopt this approach and see your life align with your desired reality. Number five, the law of cause and effect. By the end of this, you'll grasp a law so foundational that it governs every moment of our existence. Esteemed scientist Carl Sagan once said, cause and effect, you can't have one without the other. Think of it like dominoes. Push one and a chain reaction ensues. Or consider your actions. A kind gesture might make someone's day, while a harsh word can linger in their thoughts for weeks. Many misconstrue it as simple karma, but it's much more. It's the backbone of our reality, every choice sparking a cascade of outcomes. At its core, this law dictates a simple truth. Every action we take, or choice we make, initiates a sequence of events, a ripple in the vast ocean of existence. The real power of this is conscious action. Recognize that they're not just isolated events, but initiators of a chain. Start creating positive ripples and watch the world change around you. Number six, the law of compensation. Ralph Waldo Emerson, the influential thinker, coined the law of compensation. Essentially, you reap what you sow. Imagine this. 
you help a colleague with a task and a week later someone unexpectedly assists you. Or you constantly give your time and energy to a cause and eventually opportunities and rewards flow back to you. Contrary to common belief, the law isn't about relentless hustle. It's about genuine effort, not just physical, but emotional, intellectual, and moral. So the key to tapping into this important law, it's about balance and exchange. The universe has this remarkable way of balancing things out. Give positively and positive things gravitate back. Offer value and watch your rewards manifest in unexpected forms. Before going forward, let me take a second and invite you to give a like to this video. It helps us a lot. Also consider subscribing to Serenity Knowledge as we are determined to share valuable information in future videos, information that you wouldn't want to miss. Now let's continue with the very important universal laws. Number seven, the law of attraction. This law is a universal truth that can make you a magnet for your desires. This is a life-changing law embraced both by quantum physicists, esteemed personalities, and authors. What you focus on, you attract. Picture this, dwell on positivity, and positivity flows to you. Stress about negativity, and negativity ensues. It's like tuning a radio. Your frequency decides the station you get. If you believe that the law of attraction is about wishful thinking, you're off the mark. The true core of the law is active visualization. This isn't about idle daydreaming. It's about vividly seeing your goals as already accomplished. So here's the key to activating the law of attraction. Stop wishing, start visualizing. Begin taking steps to your dreams, no matter how small. Trust in yourself, in your vision, and you'll be surprised how life aligns with your desires. Number eight, the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. I know it sounds complicated, but you'll see it's not. You can unlock the potential of your life with this profound principle. Einstein's equation E equals MC square is suggesting that energy and matter are interconvertible. At its core, this law states that all energy is in a constant state of movement and change. Imagine water. It can be a liquid, solid ice, or even evaporate as steam. It's the same substance, but transmuted into different forms. Similarly, thoughts being a form of energy have the potential to manifest into reality. I'm sure you've noticed at least on one occasion how consistently thinking about a goal eventually led it to materialize. You think this law is about pseudoscience? You're wrong, my friend. The real heart of this law is mindful control. Control over how you channel your energy is key to utilizing this law. Embrace the flux. Understand that with intention and focus, you can direct energy towards desired outcomes. Harness this law and watch possibilities become realities. Number nine, the law of relativity. Prepare for a mindset shift thanks to the teachings of renowned positive psychologist Martin Seligman. Authentic happiness flourishes not through comparisons, but through embracing gratitude for our own unique journey. $100 seems a lot to someone with only $1, but seems small to a billionaire. Same money, different perspectives. In life, we often compare our lows with others' highs, leading to discontent. If you believe happiness is about having more, you're mistaken. The real essence of happiness is the relative perspective you hold. It's about how you view what you have in relation to others. So the secret to amplifying your happiness is this. Stop comparing, start appreciating. When you appreciate what you have, instead of focusing on what others have, you'll find that happiness naturally starts to flow into your life. Number 10, the law of polarity. By understanding this law, you'll be able to view life's challenges with a different perspective. Ancient philosophers like Confucius spoke of harmony and duality. Best-selling authors like Deepak Chopra and Wayne Dyer have delved into the balance and unity of opposing forces in their works. Simply put, everything has an opposite. Light and darkness, hot and cold, joy and sorrow. Think of life's hardships. For every challenging event, there exists an equal and opposite potential benefit. Lost your job? This might be the universe's way of redirecting you to an even better opportunity. Faced rejection? Perhaps it's leading you closer to a more suitable and fulfilling path. Every setback is merely a setup for a comeback. The core of the law of polarity is this. Every problem has a corresponding solution. So embrace this law and start seeking the potential for growth in every challenge. Number 11, the law of rhythm. By understanding this law, you will be able to master your life's rhythm. The famed philosopher Hermes Trismegistus embraced the law of rhythm. Everything flows out and in. Everything has its tides. The higher the tide rises, 
the lower it recedes. In life, this translates to the cycle of success and failure. The more you desperately fight to hold on to success, the harder the eventual fall. Like an overzealous dieter who rebounds into binge eating, or a workaholic who eventually burns out, we often become our own stumbling blocks. If you think that life rhythm is about constant success, you're wrong, my friend. The true essence of rhythm is embracing both ebbs and flows. Here's your key to mastering life's rhythm. Don't resist, harmonize. Align with your life's rhythm and witness the harmony and peace usher in. Number 12, the law of gender. This law, it's not what you might think. It's not about male or female. It's about the principle of creation. Esteemed scholar Carl Jung terms it as the anima and animus within us all. Imagine the seed, masculine, requires soil, feminine, to sprout. Neglect one and growth ceases. Similarly, within us exists a delicate balance of action, masculine, and intuition, feminine. Overemphasis on either creates imbalance. This is about masculine and feminine energies within us all, dictating our creation process. It's not about dominance or submission, but the essence of the law of gender is harmony. It's about acknowledging and harmonizing your inner masculine and feminine aspects. So here's your key to inner growth. Harmonize, don't marginalize. Embrace your inner balance and watch personal growth unfold. Applying just a few of these universal laws has the huge potential to change your life for the better. If we've brought some value to your day, please consider giving us a thumbs up and also subscribing to Serenity Knowledge for future valuable information we're determined to share.